Hey, Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I would like to give all the honours, the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh Baisham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Yahweh Kakwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. In who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because you know we're living in the last days right this is going to be a quickie right because remember we have to be consistent we have to remain faithful and the kingdom of heaven is at hand we're only going to go into a few scriptures lord when this be edifying let's go to luke 21 and jump straight to 28 and when these things shall become to pass, right? You know what? Go to verse 25. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth distress of nations and perplexity, confusion, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts threatening them for fear, for they're looking after those things which shall come on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. In other words, the rulerships right, of this world will be shaken and the rulers and yeah, those that are in charge, right? And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. The Son of Man is speaking of Yahweh Shai, by the way. And that proves that he had a biological father whose name is Joseph. Okay? But he was still the Son of God. Okay? And when these things become to pass, begin to come to pass, then look up. And lift up your heads. And we are approaching that time. Have you been watching the news? Have you been seeing what's going on? Right? A lot of calamities been going on as well. There was a bus crash that yesterday. What a bus crash. You had that young um, that young girl that got stabbed. So there, a lot of things are going on. There was, what else? A funeral. I think it was a wedding. I think 50 people died. So a lot of different things are happening across the world. You've got in the UK... Where you got storms going on, right? I can't remember everything, but there's a lot going on across the world. These are signs that we are at the end. If you're ready watching, lift up your heads for your redemption. Draw nigh. Look up. Look up, not down. Yeah, there's going to be times where we're feeling low, but now it's time to lift up your head. For your redemption, draw if nigh. Your redemption, draw in nigh. And who's bringing that redemption? Yahweh Shai. Okay. He's our redeemer. Okay. He's bringing that redemption. Excuse me, just a minute. Let's jump to Ephesians. Oh, it's beautiful, man. We have to be grateful. Yes, we go through a lot of things, but we have to remain grateful. He's still dealing with you, right? Okay. He's still putting a spirit in you to believe. Well, that's beautiful. Keep believing. Let's go to Ephesians. Okay. One and six. Okay. To the praise and of the glory of his grace, wherein he made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. We have redemption through Yahweh's blood, being redeemed back to the heavenly Father. Redemption. It's already been written. Now, all we need to do is just enjoy. That's all we need to do. And try not to get caught up with the things of this world. Because it's hard. There's a lot of distractions. Right? So, we went to Luke 21. And... Baba Kisha. Because I want to make it... I want to make this a short lesson. I don't want this to be long drawn out. And he spake to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, right? When they now shoot forth, you see and know your own self that summer is nigh at hand. So likewise, when you shall see these things come to pass, what things? Some of the things I've spoken past, tornadoes, earthquakes, fires, you name it. Different things happening across the world. Right? When you know that the kingdom of the Most High is nigh at hand, the kingdom of the Heavenly Father is nigh 
Why? Because these things were spoken of. Verily I say unto you, this generation will not pass till all things be fulfilled. Because the same generation that was back there 2,000 years ago is back here again today. Okay. Heaven and earth shall pass away. So heaven and earth is going to... What does it mean, heaven and earth shall pass away? This is speaking about rulerships. Right? Those that are in rulership now, they're in heaven. Because heaven is also a condition on earth. Yes. Right? But it says the heaven shall pass away. So if the heavens were supposed to pass away on the earth, that mean there'd be no rulership on earth. So, no. Certain parts of the earth are going to pass away. One of them is going to be America. America's not going to be inhabited ever, ever again. Once their missiles hit. And certain other parts of Europe as well. But the earth, yes, it's going to be ruled again. Okay. And heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And how can I prove this as well? Go to Ecclesiastes. We're going to shut off soon. Ecclesiastes 1. And 4. One generation passeth away. And another generation cometh. So one generation passes away, someone dies, someone's born, and another one cometh. But the earth abided forever. The earth is going to abide forever. That's why it's created. The sun ariseth also, and the sun goeth down, and hateth to be space where he arose. So the earth is here forever. It's just certain parts of the earth that are going to be burned up. Seeing that we went into this, we might as well go to 2 Peter 3 and 10. Then we're shut off. This is 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, a loud noise. What's that noise going to be? It's going to be different missile, ICBM missile systems hitting different parts of the earth. Right? That's why it says, shall pass away with a great noise. And the element, key thing, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, which is intense heat. And the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So it says, and the earth and the works that are therein shall be burned up. The things that you see around you. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, perished. You know, when I'm reading this, you know, I'm, I'm picturing it in my mind. My mind's eye. You have to. This, this, the prophets were says, right? An element shall melt with fervent heat. That's intense heat. The earth also when the works that are doing shall be burned up, completely burned up. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, evaporate, what manner of persons ought we to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So we're anastrophe is supposed to be based on all holy and godliness. Now we're going to have certain downtime when we talk about different things, but most of our conversation is based on the scripture. Okay. Looking for a hasten and coming of the day of the heavenly father, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we are going to his promise. Whose promise? Yahweh or Yahweh Shai's promise. Look for a new heavens and a new earth. So the earth's going to be renewed. Okay. Ruin dwelleth righteousness. That's what we're waiting for. Wherefore, my beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace. So we've got to be diligent. We've got to do as much as we can as possible. Without spot and blameless. So Lord willing, this was encouraging, exhortational. And until the next time, Shalom.